today is day 9 of uh, 30 day lead coding challenge and uh, today's problem is backspace string comparison and it's also a lead code problem problem number 844 and it says that uh, here this has symbol this denotes backspace on keyword keyboard so you write you type a then you type b then you do one backspace so when you do backspace what happens the previous character gets deleted so you had typed A, then you typed B, then backspace, so this is gone. Then you type C. So this S becomes AC. And if you look at T, which is the second string, uh, here you type A, then you type D, then you do backspace. So D is gone, and then you type C. So here also we get AC, here also we get AC. So here we have to return true. That is these two denote same uh, word or same uh, sequence of characters similarly if you look here we type a b then backspace then first b is gone a then b then backspace so this is gone again backspace this is gone so it's empty string here you type c then backspace so c is gone then you type d then backspace so this is also gone so this is also empty string so you may have started to see a pattern here so when I type backspace, what, whatever was the last character, that is deleted. And if I do backspace again, uh, whatever is again the last character is deleted. So this seems very, in fact, very closely similar to a stack operation. So you are pushing things onto the stack and only you are allowed to do see the top and pop. So when you pop, whatever is the last character, whatever is the last item on the st stack gets popped out. Here also this backspace character is equivalent to pop of a stack. You can do the same thing here. You will see that this is also true. This is not true because here A is cancelled by this. Then C is there. But here it's B. So it's false. So you can see the solution here itself in the problem statement itself. This is very similar to pop operation of stack. So we can have two st uh, stacks here. Let's say stack one for reading this. So what we will do, we will read this character by character from left to right. So when we read a character and it's not equal to this symbol, has symbol, then we push into the stack. So A is pushed. Again, we look next character, which is B. It is not this symbol. So we again push it. Then we see this has symbol so we check if stack is not empty we will pop it so b is gone then again next character is c so it's not this symbol so we will push into the stack so the stack s1 contains a and c similarly we will read t into stack 2 and again repeat the same logic and we will again arrive at a c and once we have created the two stacks, uh, we can check for, uh, we can keep popping the elements from the stack. So first time we pop, we get C, and here also we get C. And after each pop, we compare uh, if these characters are same or not. At any moment of time, at any point of time, if the characters do not match, then we straight away return false. And uh, there may be the case that uh, first stack is A, B, C. And the second is just B, C. So when we are popping from this, C matches with C, then we pop it. Then B matches with B, then again we pop it. And this becomes empty and we exit the loop. But after exiting the loop, we will also additionally compare that uh, both uh, the stacks should be empty. If just if any of the stacks is non-empty, we will again return false. So let's write the code for this. So we have stack of characters s1 s2 
and uh, for care c in s what we do if c not equal to has if c is not equal to has we don't need to do anything simply s1 dot push c else if when it will enter else when the character is equal to has so if s1 dot empty this is false then we will do s1 dot pop we will repeat the same logic for s2 you can write a small function for this because we are exactly repeating the same thing for s and t So both should be non-empty. Then what we do? Car c1 equal to s1 dot top. Then we also pop it. at any point of time if these characters mis mismatch we return false and if any of these become empty it comes out of the loop then we need to make sure that if any of these is empty others should also be empty so if And finally return true for all other cases so it works for this case let's try adding one more hash here so it becomes C it becomes AC so false is expected here and it returns false so we can go ahead and submit it and our solution is accepted hope you understood this solution and it seems very simple you if you don't understand just uh, try it again 